Hello everyone and welcome back to Deus Ex. This is episode 5. Last time we were exploring Hell's Kitchen. We checked out the bar, the clinic, the hotel, so many sub-objectives uh, and so many people to talk to and get to know. And uh, we've got more to do today. So we're going into Osgood and Sons Warehouse. And then we've also got this smuggler that has been mentioned as well that we're going to be looking into. So I think we'll need to go and look for smuggler first, and then we will find the Osgood situation to be our primary objective. So we'll get to that one in due time. Let's go find the smuggler. Apparently we'll get some military stuff, but I'm, look how much shit I'm holding on to anyway. I'll probably end up dropping it with him. I'll just give it to him because I don't think we can sell it. Now, lives near the subway entrance. This is the subway entrance. Um... He's dead. My God. Imagine if, uh, imagine if this guy that unfortunately died at the basketball court was uh, a smuggler. Are you a smuggler? Back off, man. Back off, man. There's a character spawn this down this way now. No. I jump on the bag and then jump on the trash can and then jump up there. Okay, I don't think it's tied to this. I can't believe it. This is chained, not chained, uh, barred. Could be down here. Oh, yeah, it'll be this. For some reason, I remember what we were doing. I clocked this, and then we kept on, and I forgot all about it. I'm remembering that we never even investigated this. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Nice. Yeah, this is totally um, an area that we just neglected. I love that when you see something and then you get distracted, you know? Blood charger. Alright, down we go. Okay, smuggler's warehouse. Smuggler's lair, okay. Our files show that the smuggler is whacked out paranoid. Watch for booby traps. And the latest news? Your brother's team hit some resistance. So they're gonna be delayed while we bring in chopper support. Okay. Watch for booby traps. I can see the tripwires. The ladder. Hey bud, can I just like loot the place? For a general supply of a lockpick. I don't know if uh Everything's fair in this place before I get to him. <laughs> Electronic control panel. I have quite a few multi-tools, so I will do this. Yeah. I guess this is how we turn off the uh, booby traps. So we have a ladder, or we can go this way. Next storage area, Jesus. Okay. Hey, it's that ballistic armor. This time we won't waste it. If we're in a firefight, then I'll use it. How about that? Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting quite a few charges on the old prod here. Location bonus. Oh, hello? Okay. I guess this is our guy. Smuggler? What do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? Government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend, Ford Chick, in a secret lab next to the sewers. 
a lab. And the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. These guys are pros. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look. But I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. If you're serious about going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Tell me about the hardware. I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits, a bioelectric cell for 800, and some light amplification goggles for 3,500. I'm going to put those goggles on, and the battery is just going to go whoop. Um, bioelectric cell for 750. That is expensive, my dude. Just for one of those? I find those on the street. You'd have to be really desperate. Mm, I also don't know about putting a scope on a pistol. I'd rather just get a sniper at that point. You know what I mean? A pistol... I don't even do one-hit kills at close range with a pistol. Why would I want to shoot a pistol at range? <laughs> uh, yeah, too expensive, brother. I don't need any of these things, to be honest with you. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. Okay, unlock sewer manholes added to the keyring. Oh, we're actually going to go and search for this dude in the sewer grates and find a potential secret lab. I can get down with that. Ford does the best bioscience in the Northeast. Let's see the hardware again. See anything you like? I like his orange optics. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. Um, hey, smuggler man. You don't mind if I use your computer for a bit, do you? You're going to let me hack him? We'll type, we'll do smuggler, and then we'll do the password. That's going to be bloodshot. Do you reckon that would work, actually? Um, oh, it's all in French. Oh, God, well... You know, there's not much I can do about that. I can screenshot it. Oh, there's two accounts too. God, there's, there's so much to, to take in that it's like, you want to get it, take a screenshot, and then just edit me reading it. Because that was what I was thinking about doing in the Unatco HQ episode, but we ended up figuring out how to read them properly and get everyone's logins. But like, it's a little bit harder when you're just out in the wild. So I might just edit myself reading them instead, which is easier. Okay, I've got the screenshots up here. Ultra Hacker Man screenshot eyes. Let's go. <laughs> so this is inquiry from Rosie Cross. The Oracle says, We did as asked and checked with our sources. Pulled up black project lists from Dead Space Net Ghosts. Performed intrusion runs on thrones slash 6G systems. Everything. Called in all markers. Best we can say after eight variable cross check on all available info is your friend did some under the table work in youth. Very deep. Very wet. Few specifics, but we were to divine that it involved the chlorine assisted delivery of weaponized particles. We show 86.73% likelihood that this work is contributing factor to his disappearance. Chlorine assisted delivery of weaponized particles. And that's what we've been reading about with the chlorine washing up on shore and affecting the water. We can tell you this much as well. Was not taken by any known national or international security organization. We cannot determine responsible party and this troubles us. We consider our debt repaid. No further communication between us will occur. The Oracle would like to know the last joke you heard. Interesting. So is the Oracle some sort of computer uh, AI mach machine learning thing? The Oracle would like to know the last joke you heard. And then it can learn jokes. <laughs> I kid. Uh, we also have the next one, which is in French. Nous uh, trouvons. I'm not going to read that out. Um, I can't s determine anything here except there are numbers and it looks like they are account numbers 312446 Autorization 1351 Nice. I know enough French to determine that this is bank information. <laughs> Incredible. Um, so we can take note of the emails here. Um, and I don't know if that goes into my notes because it's a bank account. No, it doesn't, which is funny. 
Uh, we've read the email, but it doesn't go into our list, but that's alright, I've got a screenshot of it, so we'll go find a ATM machine and uh, get some French money. Okay, where are we now? Where's this? More stuff to get. Okay, a lot of stuff for the prod charger, which is actually quite nice. Basic firearm safety rules. Never point a firearm at anyone or anything you do not intend to shoot, which is true. Before handling any firearm, understand its operation. Always have your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Keep your firearm unloaded when not in use. Treat every firearm as if it were loaded. Never pass your firearm to another person until the cylinder or action is open and you visually check that it is unloaded. Place your finger inside the trigger guard only when you are ready to fire. 101. The Modern Terrorist's Handbook. Okay, sure. Section 7C, Computer Virus Cultivation. One tool or weapon not to be neglected, spelled like that, in the arsenal of the modern terrorist is the use of the computer viruses to cause di disruption to major city services and infrastructure or other targets of opportunity. Current heristical viral stalkers or infective are infective against modern polymorphic hothouse engines ava available from many sites on the undernet and can be easily linked to IP tunnels for a cheap, effective denial of service attack or with some programming skills and icebreakers, a mutagenic crash and grab bird can be grown for the retrieval, retrieval of special info from the unfortunate victims. All right, so for a second I was wondering if this was just hev heavily fucked up in, it, in its wording but you can see that whenever you see skills with a Z you're like okay this is written by someone um, with not great grammar and punctuation uh, which is hilarious in the modern terrorist handbook section 7c of being able to get this far into the book of bad uh, spelling. <laughs> the following pages will discuss some of the more typical viruses such as the Bandersnatch V128, Ulysses Dilemma and 109 and then it cuts off <laughs> cool. Uh, we got another one over here, which is The Reluctant Dictators by Travis Crockett. Introduction. Organized at the end of the American Revolution on May 13th, 1783 by General George Washington, the Order of the Cincinnati was ostensibly formed as a fraternity to recognize the accomplishments of those officers who had served with distinguishment during the Revolution. However, the true purpose of the order was the cultivation of a military force ready, willing, and able to accomplish a coup d'etat if fledgling American democracy began to stumble. Skeptical at the viability of the untried democratic system, Washington took counsel in the story of the Roman general uh, Cincinnatus, who was called from retirement to serve as dictator for 16 days in the defense of Rome, after which he returned home to his farm. In the wake of the revolution, the United States was vulnerable to any number of outside forces, and Washington felt that a strong central authority had to be present that could assume control of the government if necessary, and temporarily suspend the constitution if required. Washington resigned as president after only two terms in office, but remained president of the Order of the Cincinnati till his death. The order still exists to this day, a shadow organization of the wealthy and powerful that has been linked to any number of other organizations ranging from the Illuminati to the Trilateral Commission. There you go. And a lockpick. I do like how the game brings in uh, actual things that have like historic events and then uh, giving their own little flair to it, you know? Now, there's a security keypad here. Is this not a one... Is this a one-way mirror? We've got enough tools. I say we bypass this bad boy. Let's take a look. Haha. -ha. Oh, it's... Oh, I was like... Wondering, like, one-way mirror if it will be another room, but it is a safe. That's also just as good. Weapon modification for the clip. Thermoptic camo. Oh, nice. We saw this in the training. Okay. 
Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. Integrating woven fiber optics in an advanced computing system, thermoptic camo can render an agent invisible to both humans and bots by dynamically refracting light and radar waves. However, the more the high power drain makes it impractical for more than short term use, after which the circuitry is fused and it becomes useless. So I don't think that I'm going to use any of this stuff until I train myself in environmental training uh, right now. So we're at least going to get ourselves to trained. So armor suits, camo and rebreathers can be used slightly longer and more efficiently. Um, look, I'm not going to be able to get use out of it if I'm untrained. It just, it goes too far, you know, too far, too fast. Uh, weapon modification. So an extended magazine increasing the clip capacity. Um, now, I'm not sure which lethal weapon I want to keep. We've got 192 rounds of 7.62 ammo, 53 buckshot rounds. Um, and I do get up close and personal quite a lot. This is a max range of 600 feet. 65% um, base accuracy, base damage of three, base damage of 25, base damage of eight. Damn, this pistol does, you know, obviously this will do less damage because it's a fully auto goddamn rifle. It's designed for close, com uh, close combat still. You know what? I'm thinking we're going to get rid of the assault rifle and we'll keep the buckshot and we will increase it. So the clip size is now five rounds instead of four. You never know when you'll need that final round. That's what I'm going with. And I'm only keeping another pistol on me because what if there's another situation like Gunther where there's a like, hey man, you have a weapon I could borrow, you know? I'll leave the um, assault rifle as an apology to Smuggler about me um, looting all of his stuff. How about that? Is that good? That's a good trade. Uh, see you later, bruh. So we're going into the sewers to look for his friend. And we got the keys. This is kind of hilarious, though. It's like we have pressing matters to attend to, but I will go and look for a secret lab uh, in the sewers, potentially. Who knows what we'll find? up out we get so now when we see these sewer grates we can actually uh, go down in them check them out um, is there just the one or is there multiple the run around find one uh, here's one um, yeah okay unlocked Let's go down to the sewers, shall we? Yeah. Please. Thank you. I'm not confident enough with uh, going on ladders with how these this game works. It's like, same with uh, Half-Life. Ooh, we've got people down here. Alright, we're in the New York sewers now. These tunnels aren't on the New York City sewer maps. Weird. I have no information on what you might be getting into. This seems worth following up. MJ-12 troops. Okay, MJ-12. Um... Alright. I re new kind of implants. I see, the guy's got some new kind of implants. Alright, I feel like we should go for the riot prod, right? Go for the stun. And then whack him over the head with the crowbar. Now, I just need to get this dude. But I think this guy will, f will see me. Maybe. He's not moving. Right, I'm going to go for it. Oh, God. It's, and then he starts moving. Okay. Right, I'm going for it. Oh, he just went down. Nice. Assault rifle. I didn't have to hit him in the head. I just threw this away, dude. 
get this out of here. Um, I gotta wait for this dude to turn around again. But will he turn around? That's the question. We're doing stealth, guys, because we apparently there is actually some shit going on down here. Maybe not just being uh, taken by the NSF. There's MJ-12 now. Okay, here we go. They just got crates in... Oh, no. Dude, you're supposed to go all the way to the end. I don't know your walking pattern, but come on, man. You were supposed to go back. I can use my thermo-optic camo. Actually... Oh man, should we should we use it for something just like this, or should I save it for later? You know what I mean? Or maybe I'll just pepper spray him. <laughs> okay, please don't turn around. Okay, good. I get you. Okay, this time. Okay. All right. Now he's dead. Well, that time he didn't go down. Maybe I need to stand up and stun them in the head. And that'll get them in the one hit. We've got a security computer terminal and we're making our way down. All right, let's take a look. Let's get in here. All right, let's hack in. NYC com. What's going on in here? Let's take a look. a rotate bridge. Oh, okay. Security. Aha. Uh -huh. Camera off. Camera off. Camera off. Look at these helmets. Oh, we've seen these helmets in the... Quick. Oh, Jesus. Um, we've seen that in the intro. Oh! We've seen those soldiers in the intro with the weird dinosaur thing, too. Oh, perhaps that's what we're seeing. But then if we're seeing that in the intro that's also talking about with, like, the, that's what Bob was talking about, it might be connected. This might go deeper than we've ever thought. The conspiracies might be real. There is people being taken in a lab here, potentially. Hmm, and they're being turned into dinosaurs. Okay. I recognize the soldiers. God, this episode is heavy. We've, uh, we've learned a lot of information here. Okay, so security. Um, door is unlocked. Turret status. I can't do anything about that. Okay, I think we're good. Cool. All right. We've unlocked a door. And I guess we can find our way down there. Or we can find our way down here. Or we can swim. Which is probably not the desired outcome. Um, I don't know how many save files we can have, but we're, I'm going to have a million. That's for sure. I don't care. Right, cameras are off, which is good for us. Now, another security terminal here. I don't know if this is just going to end up being exactly the same. I do want to try and see if we can stealth this, you know. It's just the same. Okay. So, look, I can see myself in the camera. That's great. All right. You can also... I can keep moving this, and I can hide behind it, guys. Move this to obscure the camera's view. <laughs> you know? That's funny. Okay. All right, get out of my way now. You were just... I was using you for a bit. Get off of me. All right. This has been unlocked. Wait, it's been unlocked, so let me in. Kidding? Oh, fuck it. I should have just opened it. I thought if I just unlocked it, I could just go up to the door uh, and open it. Apparently not. Apparently not. That's not how this works. Oh god, am I in combat? Oh no, I'm in combat. He's found me because time doesn't pause when you're in a machine. Okay. The alarm's gone off as well, and everything. Did he just... 
Oh no, he ran back and it was a new guy. For some reason I was like, I thought that he'd fallen off and a new guy had run to take his place because of the way he was moving. I thought I'd like blinked. I'm shooting you with a silencer from so far away. Well, I did say that I wanted to do this stealthy, but we're doing this now. Alright, you're on the ladder now. Okay. Oh, hey. Now, oh, fuck. Yes, at least. Wait, is he swimming? I saw the reticle. Did you see it? Okay, yeah, I think he drowned. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Look. There he is. <laughs> um, if it was just him, I think we're okay. I think that was self-contained. Oh, God. Right, yeah, I think that was self-contained because nobody else went to turn the alarm on. Alright, let me open this door. Perfect stealth. He should have called for backup instead of trying to take me on from across the way on his own. What a dumb guy. Alright, um, door open. Oh, Is my head gonna skim this thing? Oh my god, okay. Infiltrating a potentially secret facility. Um, ooh, this looks toxic as hell. Okay, um, hazmat suit, baby. Cool. But it does have charge, and it's a good thing I've upgraded my environmental stuff. Okay, so... This is crazy. This level is huge, and th this is optional, right? Because this is, this is, like, we all we have to do is just go do the primary goal, but... Oh my god, wow. Alright. There's so much extra stuff that we can do, it's fascinating. There we go. We're in. Now, this does look like not healthy, so I'm assuming that I'm going to need to wield this. Um, but I'm also going to be cheeky, and I'm going to save my game, and I'm just going to test it out first. Is this bad for me? I can't tell. Because I was already kind of fucked up. I don't, my character isn't like coughing, or I'm not like going, Ugh! so I actually think it might be okay. See, because you see how I didn't want to waste my fucking. I didn't want to waste my hazmat suit like I wasted my last bulletproof vest. What, did, what was the point of us even bypassing this when these are still on? They didn't even turn off. And I assume these are... the. I don't think these are explosives. I think these are alarm triggers. Why did I even turn off then? That sucks. How do I... How do I get to these bodies? No way to do it without triggering the alarm for sure. But they're dumping bodies in the sewers. Should we just should we just do it? I did it. I said fuck you, I did it anyway. Oh, it's it's NSF. Okay. From Lieutenant Maxwell Hammer. Okay, hang on. Let's read this. That alarm is going off! Covert surveillance of warehouse. The mission is authorized at a level of Throne 6G. You will not interfere with local authorities, UNACO, or other government agencies. You are to act with prejudice against any threat to mission objectives, and the entry code is 2167. So we got an entry code. Lieutenant Maxwell Hammer. From Redacted. And it's... Authorized at a level of Throne 6G, which is similar to things that we've read before. 
in relation to Nat Yunatko about like and you have like certain levels of clearance. This is the highest clearance that we've seen so far. So there you go. Dead body. Multi-tool lockpit. Nice. Was this worth setting off the alarm? Look at this uh, X2. Okay. So that's their sort of whole thing. But he's a dead body too. That's unexpected. NSF. So anything that endangers the mission. No. Oh, well, oh my god. Well, dude, I tried to jump over it. I tried my best. I tried my best. I tried to jump over it. Okay. Oh, hang on, is this just another... Oh shit, this is just another entrance. This was another sewer grate. This was just one potential way that we could enter into this place. Wow. Alright. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> oh god, that's going to... Fuck. And that. And that. Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Um, the, the door. Oh, the, the, the door. Um. Whoa, sh Oh, hang on. 2167. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. All right. I remember we literally just read about the. <laughs> we read about the code. Gotcha. All right. Let's just heal everything equally. There you go. That's fine. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Um. Wait, was this? Yeah. Okay. Um. Falling down there, at the very least, we can take this ladder up. So. How much fall damage are you going to take? Do you reckon this is shallow? Or do you reckon this is deep? I feel like it's. All these boxes could be floating. Or they could be. It could be really shallow. I feel like we're gonna play it safe. We'll uh, we'll take the ladder. Oh god! Ooh, that dude would have been triggered from the alarm. Okay, hold on. Now we've killed we've killed one person, but that was actually he drowned himself. Really, so we didn't do anything. Hitting him in the head didn't really do anything either. Security. J. Steward MJ12 Chemical Insertion. Okay. Chemical Insertion. A security grid is now online and active. We will perform a thorough system test every 12 hours to ensure integrity is in, in expectation of the shipment from Hong Kong. If you would like to monitor our status, you can access the grid with the logon MJ12 and password coup d'etat. Okay. Why is it? That's been the password. Okay. So chemical insertion. MJ12 coup d'etat. We now have access to their computer terminals. Very good. I have to hack in and just like speed read, which is my least favorite thing for trying to get as much information as possible. I wish that you didn't, uh, you could like loot bodies like it opened up as like a little inventory screen, you know? Instead of uh, automatically picking up a weapon. Right, let me go down the ladder, please. Oh god, stressful. Thank you. Oh, yep, yep. Oh! Oh, it's... Ah! It's... Yep. Oh! Ah! 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 God. Jesus. Alright, this is what we want to use a hazmat suit for. And apparently, guy in a lab coat is going to check it out. All right. Um. Oh god. But look, there's stuff for us to get here. Okay. The video game is not on our side. Get up. Oh yeah. All right. I wanna. Oh, I'm trying to see if we can jump onto the. How am I supposed to? I wonder how much time I've got 
to use this um, hazmat kit. Ready? All right, let's see. Hazmat suit activated. All right, it's lost in a little while. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Okay, I don't understand how this game works with, like, being able to... Do you see how it just launched me? Oh, my God. Oh, dude. I'm choking to death. Launch me. Okay, what is that? I'm trying to grab this fucking thing, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Just get me up in the air, will you? Get me up in the air and on top of this crate. Oh, okay. This is really awkward. Oh, hey, it works that time. Just, just, just get me up. Come on. I'm, I'm spending all of my hazmat time trying to get up here. This is insane. This is unfortunate. This is very, this is very unfortunate. This sucks. <laughs> what a way to go, dude. Jesus. All right. Um, so, your character jumps up, but it's really inconsistent. That's the issue that I'm having here. Like, see how it just, like, kind of shoots up when you get to, like, the, the corner of it? And I think it might be easier on this because it's, it's smaller, right? It's entirely reliant on the, the size of it. Oh my god. So this is just... This uh, this whole thing is just so awkward. Now I'm stuck in between a pipe and this... I'm in the pipe. I actually can't move. There we go. <laughs> I just want to see what this thing is, you know what I mean? I just wish that I could get this item. Oh, thank you. I made it. It's a weapon modification for accuracy. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? Jesus. Now, give me this. Um, right, the hazmat suit is now used up. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do with that. Oh, okay, that's gone to the bottom of the ocean. Um, accuracy. I'm going to put it on the crossbow. Three rounds? Remember once upon a time I had a million rounds? <laughs> Damn. You know what? Maybe I sh... Maybe I... Maybe I would have taken that back. If I could turn back time! I've got significantly less darts, but that's fine. Um, Jesus, this is so chaotic. Uh, my hazmat suit has been used, so um, we're, we're making a run for it. Ah, swim quick to the fucking... Ah, my leg! My leg! Alright. Uh, damn. Alright, look, this time we had a correct um, use of the hazmat suit. That's nice. That's nice. Confined space. What's going on here? What's going on here then? I'm here to investigate your confined space and whatever you're doing here. Accomplishment bonus, okay. Any skill points we're looking at right now? 240. We're rich. Okay. Um. Oh! I saw nothing, dude. Okay. You're gonna get prodded in a minute, mate. Oh, oh, dude, I have to get in. That's the, that's the problem. Oh, don't do that. Oh, get in. 
Good, 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 good. This area is an old water treatment facility. Mm. I wonder what all these paramilitary types are doing down here. Considering what the smuggler said, I would imagine this is where they're holding his friend, Ford Schick. Old water treatment, paramilitary types. Okay, so now he went down. Oh. I'll leave you with that, mate. Oh god, is that dude running? D does he know that I'm- oh, fuck! Shit, 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 shit. Um, well, you know what? Guys, maybe you should have thought about this before you had a secret facility. Give me that assault rifle after all. We're going loud, boys. We've, we've, we've been quiet for this long. Blast them! Reload, please. Thank you. All right, die, die, die. All right, Jesus. So many of your friends went quietly, but you just had to discover me. Oh no. All right. Look, we, we did all right, didn't we? Maybe. Jesus. All right. Okay, that's why. Damn it. Okay. Um, so that was our issue. There was a security terminal. Um, okay, what's the password? Um, MJ12 and coup d'etat. We're in, we're in, baby. Cameras off, please. Okay. Um, open, open, open those doors. Okay. Can I, let's take a look in here. What do we got? Chemical laboratory. Someone cooked here. We got the guard quarters. And this area, huh, no idea where this is. Definitely no cameras where I would get caught. Okay, so MJ-12 coup d'etat, and now we can start accessing all of this stuff properly. Um, are we going loud and killing all these MJ-12 troops? Apparently. Some of them are going to wake up and be like, what the hell? Uh, freeze! You must be Ford Chick. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. Mm. Wait here while I deal with security, I'll make a break for it, I'll protect you. Well, let's deal with security. Wait here while I deal with security. Tell me when the coast is clear. Because I guess there'll still be people around. Obviously he could get out the way that I came in, but... I guess we'll make sure. Ooh. Let's get out of here! Yeah, just wait, please. Wait here while I deal with security. Tell me when the coast is clear. I'm reading. That's what I do, you know. All right. Chlorine and water treatment. Report for the New York City Council of 2053. I thought we were in 2052. On the other hand, opponents claim chlorine compounds can cause cancer, infertility, or birth defects. However, recent research indicates that the increased risk of cancer from chlorinated water is minimal or non-existent. For example, a 2034 toxicological study found no carcinogenic effects at chlorine concentrations a thousand times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency revised Kyoto standards. And the International Agency for Research on Cancer concluded population studies on cancer rates were too flawed to draw any conclusions. Water chlorination is just one target for some activists. They advocate eliminating some or all of the 15,000 chlorine compounds now in use. This would include most plastics at almost 85% of pharmaceuticals and 96% of crop protection chemicals. Yet most of the chlorine in the world occurs naturally. The annual global emission of some 1,500 naturally occurring chlorinated organic chemicals totals 5 million tons, compared to human emissions of chlorine compounds of only 26,000 tons. Okay, interesting. Oops. Uh, sorry, mate. Ignore that. I, I keep pressing the wrong button to get out of reading. Nanotechnology for stupid people, TM. 
feel like a moron because folks think around words like universal constructor, grey goo, mechano, me, mechano carbons, or and bucky tubes or no longer nanotechnology for stupid people will guide you through the small small world of tiny machines why is this important why should you care imagine a million microscopic robots no bigger than a red blood cell constantly scouring your arteries for plaque and cholesterol imagine a supercomputer the size of your thumbnail that can record everything you see in here imagine buildings that assemble themselves overnight well imagine no longer the future is here or will be soon, and it's made of little atoms. That's right, atoms, the building blocks of all matter in the universe. Nanotechnology simply pushes the little building blocks around to make new, interesting, exciting things. Even now, scientists worldwide are making huge strides in perfecting the universal constructor that will make a nanotechnological future possible, but already the benefits are being reaped from their research. You'll learn the history, the inside scoop, the buzzwords, and what the future holds, all inside nanotechnology for stupid people. Stupid people, when you don't have two neurons to rub together, check out other books including uh, Pandemics for Stupid People and Cooking Dog for Stupid People. Okay, sure, buddy. Um, there you go. I oh, got in. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Let's get out of here. No, hold on. Wait here while I deal with security. <laughs> Tell me when the coast is clear. Yeah, I'm. I will. Stop talking to me, and we'll, we'll get the, we'll get through this together. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No. Stop. Make a break. No! No, 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 Oh my god. For, dude, for God's sake. Okay, he bugged me enough that now oh, I can't believe this. Pretty sure it's safe, right? But like I don't know if any new people will spawn. I can't believe he bugged me enough times that I accidentally picked the wrong one. You better get out of here safely from here. Okay. Thanks. If you see Smuggler, tell him I'm all right. Okay. God. I just didn't know if it would spawn more people or if he would go a different way, you know what I mean? <laughs> he was really intent on being like, come on, man, I'll be fine. I literally forgot the code. I had it, and then now I've forgotten it because he's made me panic. Um, 2167. He made me panic, he did. Now I forgot everything that I knew. Alright, um... Alright, well off he goes. Okay, that's what that does. No. Stop. <laughs> no! Thank you. Alright, we've still got more to check out here. I've got radioactive barrel goo and um, that's floating in shit. That's gonna be unhealthy for me, isn't it? I reckon I can uh Oh, it's a lockpick. Oh, the water's fine. Come on in! The water's fine! We've got lockpicks and 10 millimeter ammo. Incredible. Yummy. You know when you think that the water's gonna ah, you think that the water's gonna be bad, but it's fine. Freeze! Oh, we just I'm just here now. Okay. I was expecting um more. As in like finding finding more. Oh hang on, here we go. Yes, the, the Yes, because there was this room. And now I can read terminals. Um data cube. Oh, cool. J Stewart. As requested, access codes have been changed. Your access code is J Stewart. JSI357. The man who was Thursday. I read this. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond. Chapter 12. A lot of people say the city looks like hell, Allie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette. The glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. Most people have never been to hell, Jacob said. She looked at him and he could hear the smile in her voice. And I suppose you have? Jacob said nothing and then stood and walked to the bed. Allie let out a small noise and shrank back against the pillows as if she'd claw her way into them if she could. He leaned down close to her ear. 
You like to play games, he whispered, and that's fine, but you don't want to be playing games with me because I'm the one honest man in this city. You should know that since we're married. Okay. Good, good exposition. We're married, by the way. Uh, cool. So we can now log in uh, with multiple, um, multiple ways to get in. So we can do um, MJ12 with uh, Ku Wait, I think I've gotten this wrong. Oh, I just can't use that from. Oh no, that's logging into the security terminals, isn't it? This is this is different. Um, so J Steward, and then let me copy this password. Huh? You didn't change his password, All right? WS, our chemist. Your concern about his behavior is unwarranted. However, once the initial trial is completed, you may eliminate him at your own discretion. Operation Central Company Picnic. <laughs> the company picnic has been moved from July 21 to July 28. Please note this on your calendars. Employees on duty or otherwise unavailable will receive a bonus as compensation in instead. See you there. Harleen Quinzel, Human Resources Director, Operation Central. A frown is just a smile turned upside down. God, the way that this all feels so real and alive, you know. It's very corporate. Security Central, system hacking. We've had several attempts to hack into the main Daedalus system, mostly amateur tunneling stunts that don't require a prejudicial response. However, in keeping with standard protocols, all level one lock system codes have been changed. The new code is 2167. This will work within the complex, but isn't valid for exterior access. Those systems are on a separate grid, as is the armory. Pass this code on to those with the proper clearances. Archie Rain Man. <laughs> Central security. Never blame malice for what can be adequately blamed on stupidity. Ah, oh, Fane Man. Rain Man and Fane Man. Rain Man. Fighter of the Fane Man. And we've got WS Delivery. The main shipment will be arriving shortly, so ensure that all chlorine delivery tests are completed. The recommendation of the water treatment facilities for insertion has also been approved. Your studies of vector diffusion and initial casualty counts were persuasive. G Stewart. Okay. There's some in information there. They're putting shit in the water. Um, there you go. Let's check out this. Why do I keep forgetting? Oh, hang on. This one's only three. This is the armory, right? We'll just use this. We'll just bypass it. That's fine. Get me in. Uh, let's see. Yes, because they said that the armory code is different. And we'll never learn it, because we'll just bypass it instead. A lot of rockets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, light anti-tank weapon. If you've ever wanted to wield a rocket launcher, uh, now's your chance. Um... I... I don't know about this one, Chief. I feel like this is going to be a mistake. Do I really want a rocket launcher? Um... I'm holding on to too much shit, you know what I mean? Okay, so it takes four slots that way. I've got... How many rockets do I have? I have four WP rockets. I swear I picked up more rockets. Oh yeah, I've got 19. Yeah, I've just got two different types. Gotcha. Um, Anti-tank. The law provides cheap, dependable anti-armor capability in the form of an integrated one-shot rocket delivery system, though at the expense of any laser guidance. Like other heavy weapons, the law can slow agents who have not trained with it extensively. Yeah, because this is like heavy. Um, heavy weapons. So accuracy is low, movement is difficult. Um, and also the fact that I'm trying to figure out, it says ammo type is NA. 
Yeah, we don't even have the ammo. We've, we literally have rockets. But I didn't have any ammo. What does the ammo type NA even mean? Oh no, this was my last save. Oh brother. Oh brother. If I could turn back time, I could get this weapon modification again. Oh my god. Alright, well I'm going to do all of that all over again. <laughs> Damn it. I got my turn back time wish for my accuracy, but at what cost? Alright, I've done all of that again. And we're getting the hell out of here. Uh, I couldn't actually get the weapon modification in the sewer thing this time. I just couldn't get up there, so I gave up. So I have not gotten that upgrade, unfortunately. But I have freed that dude's friend. Uh, so we're now going to check back in with him. Smuggler has had his friend freed and dealt with. So we're now going to see what he has to say about that. And then I think from that point on, we can go and check in with the primary objective. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Let me in. Um, the elevator. It's... okay. Why is it down? Let me call it up. Get up here. Elevator? <laughs> I guess that is probably to show that old mate used the elevator to go down and he's currently down here with Smuggler. We also need to go in there and check out that ladder. Do that on the way out. Hey Smuggler, you got your friend in here with you? No? Okay. Never mind. I got your friend out. Ford, is he all right? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits, a bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. What if you give me some credits? All right, I will get the cell for 250. Here's 250 for the bioelectric cell. Deal. See you later. Hey, and thanks again for finding four. No problem. No worries, cool guy. See you around. Okay, done and done. So I checked in with him. That's all complete. We'll check out this ladder. I don't know if we can get even... Can we even get in here? Um, like we'll put this here and then... And then we crouch. Can we get in? I'm like, no. Hang on. Okay, and then we just need to... There you go. Uh, crouch and then... Where does this go? Oh god. Where am I? Oh, Jesus. Sure. Oh. Um. It's 25 strength. Let me in. Okay. God damn it. Alright, so this is just like another entrance into this dude's thing. If you don't have the ability to get the bloodshot password, I suppose. So that's just like a second way to get in. Cool. Oh, yeah, the elevator wasn't down. Weird. I almost got crushed by the elevator. That wouldn't have been good. And now we're back on the streets. So we can go into the Osgood place. We'll take it from here. So we have the code to the elevator on the roof with the antenna. 
Uh, we can also go down here this way. So, on our notes, of which we have plenty, um, what was it? 3316. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not this. We can use two tools to bypass this. Ah, uh, sure. Let's see what this is. Be nice to level this up, so I could only use one tool per thing. But that'll take a while. Yeah. Oh. What's that? Oh, nice. Augmentation up. Wait, this is different. This is a different type of canister. An augmentation upgrade canister contains highly specific nano mechanisms that when combined with a previously programmed module can increase the efficiency of an installed augmentation. Because no programming is required, upgrade canisters may be used by trained agents in the field with minimal risk. Wait, but when it's combined with a previously programmed module, so like I have to, all right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so I can use the cell and I can also charge up my stuff here. Um, so I can choose to upgrade to tech two, so it's increased moderately, or toxic resistance increased moderately, or we can save it up. I'm gonna just continue to save. I will continue to save it. Okay, we now find ourselves trying to get to the roof. We're finally back to this. My hands are full. Yeah, we got a mine. I got a bit. I got to run up to it quickly. <laughs> Do I trust in myself? Ah! Yep. Of course, I trust in myself. Newspaper: Giant rat stalks New York. New York. In recent weeks, a rash of mutilated corpses, many of them found near docks, subways, or sewers, has garnered nothing but indifference from the NYPD. Isolated and unremarkable, in the words of one police spokesperson. But while the police seem content to categorize these horrible crimes as nothing more than simple cases of homicide or unaliving among the poor and indignant, eyewitness accounts tell a different and altogether more frightening story. There's a monster in it, says Dickie Cork, a sailor aboard the Matilda Briggs out of Sumatra. Thing looked like a rat, it did, only it was big. I'm in the middle of reading that. Can you keep open, please? About the size of a lion or something. Numerous other eyewitnesses, all telling remarkably similar accounts of the creature I'm reading. Stop. Have come forward in recent weeks, but the police refuse to act, calling the descriptions ludicrous without any further investigation. But regardless of the truth, the police choose to sit idly by as the killings continue and poor law-abiding citizens pay the price. Joe Green, senior staff writer. I don't know why that one specifically doesn't want to stay on my screen. I wonder if Joe Green will write a story about Denton now. That we've had a conversation with him. Right, up we go on the ladder. I can't bloody see around here this way. Right, this way it is. Um, the stairs out? I guess we're dropping down. Oh god. Um, oh Jesus, we are very, we're very high up and I'm just f on the fire escape. Jesus. Okay, am I supposed to jump across here in the dark, dude? While I can also hear NSF being suspicious? Alright, I think... Oh my god, okay, sure, um, look at the, look at the recording, how am I supposed to navigate this stealthily without being caught, 
while also trying to not alert people that I have a flashlight on shining in their face, you know what I mean? This is what those light activated goggles are for, I suppose. That will last one second. Oh god. Come on, I'm in- I No, I'm in pitch black Maybe darkness, dude. Time. There's no- I'm in pitch black darkness. I will shoot you in the face. And I am planning to. I guess we're safe. No. Pitch black darkness, bro. Sorry, Paul. I know you were like, hey, check the slabs, but you know how it be. They're gonna shoot me. Okay, so there's a window I can go in. Go up here. Uh -oh. Oh! Pig. Yeah! This guy wasn't just a grunt. What's going on? What the? He just one shot me. I thought I was in good health. Damn it, dude. Okay. Well, now I'm all the way down here. Sure. Well, we can also go this way instead of going down the fire escape. Okay. No, I can't because I'm not tall enough. There we go. He took one look at me and just sniped me in the head. There you go. I, I love that we just had this awkward moment of just silently looking at each other. And then, uh, there you go. You know what, Paul? If you want me to not take so many lives, maybe, just maybe, the other side should put down their guns. Make love, not war. Time to pepper spray this ass already. Someone there? Take him out. Get pepper sprayed. Okay. You've been pepper sprayed. Damn, he's actually got a sniper. This could be fun. Um, I don't know how big the sniper's gonna be though. I'm not sure. Um, let's drop some stuff that we're not going to use. Uh, look, I'm not probably not going to use this PS20 thing. Am I going to use the throwing knives? Yes, I would like to use that. All right, I've got the sniper. It's like that. There you go. We've got 25 rounds of the sniper. The military sniper rifle is the superior long tool. Uh, sorry, superior tool for the interdiction of long-range targets. When coupled with uh, the proven 30.06 round, a marksman can achieve tight groupings at better than one MOA, minute of angle, depending on environmental conditions. Um, I'm assuming. Yes, okay. We are untrained, so we can use rifles, but can we use them well? Who knows? No. Um, More ballistic armor, damn. And it doesn't double up, sadly. Alright, I've got a sniper now. There's a s ah, interesting. I'm seeing al alternate pathways here. Ah, I see the antennas. Look at this, uh, look at this awesome aiming. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. God, that recoil is crazy. Alright. Oh, I didn't get him. He's running away, though, because he's weak. <gasps> oh! Look, if, if you can, if you can be sniping, then that means they can be sniping, too. <laughs> Alright, so we're in, we're now in sniper hell. Okay, let's try that again. Get rid of that. Um, problem is, if we want to go rooftop to rooftop, we've got to do some crazy moves here. We can't really jump, and we need to be careful with the um, with the 
flashlight because that lets everybody know where we are. We'll go, huh? Is someone there? Is someone there? Is someone that I got? In the dick. Oh, stop. No. Get back here. Shush. Oh god, they're coming for me. Alright, hang on. I apparently don't have enough room for the... Submachine, uh, for the machine gun. But I will if I do this. Uh, let's pick up the assault rifle. Let's use one of our ballistic armors. Let's pick it up. And let's... Let's get over to this antenna, shall we? Let's do this. God, this is fun. Right. Got the recoil. While I'm waiting for this targeting reticle. He's weak. He's running. God damn. All right, ballistic power armor supply is already used up. Great. <laughs> Sniper ammo, good. They're trying to snipe me. Um, that's the thing I gotta be. Oh, I got. I just got headshotted in the middle of the air. <laughs> Dude, they're cracked. I got headshotted in the middle of the air. Yeah, this one, this one's gonna be tough. Maybe I, you know what? Maybe I should snipe him after all, but just try and close the gap. I don't know. It just, it just alerts everyone to my presence from the get-go. Also, that's crazy. That was a shot to the chest and to the PP. And it still wasn't enough. God, look at this is what being untrained in a rifle looks like. He's trying to throw a thing at me. I think it is funny when they just run away and they just stand there. Surely he's dead. Nope. They're just everyone's just bleeding out. Expert sniping ahead. Okay, they've all gone into hiding because they're cowards. I'll teach them. Here we go. Hey, you. But get out. Okay, he's running. He's bleeding out. Watch out for the extra powerful sniper. Yeah! No scope. He's bleeding out. Okay. Where are you, bastard? I'm coming for you. I'll follow your blood trail. Yeah! I'm disappointing my brother right now. You know that, right? Disappointing my brother by killing all of you. <sighs> okay, I'll just do this. I'm trying to break the glass. There we go. Okay, two shots. I'm in. I'm infiltrating through the through the apartments. I need that because I'm around to run out of battery. Look at us go. Infiltration. We're almost at the antenna. Okay. I can get a vantage point through this window, so I'll put this up. And then I can get a smaller box. Oh, that's so funny. Um... Freaking out. There we go. Oh, I'm being shot. Oh, oh shit. Be 
he's found me. All right, hang on. Ready, we got this a very small targeting window. Oh, I missed. And I'm in the recoil, whether it, gotcha. All right, I think I got, I definitely got him. What? I hit him in the face. He yelled of pain and everything. Hey, yeah. There you go, die. <laughs> Jesus. All right, how do I get, okay. My Lord, getting over to this place is crazy. The, the ladders associated with this. Okay. What a journey we're embarking on to get to this rooftop. Okay. This is classic. Um, let's go down here. And then we go down here. We'll loot this dude's body. Almost where we want to be. I think we're good. Alright, down we go. And down, and down, and prod charger. I already have enough. I've actually maxed out of my prod charger. Alright. You can rest now, child. The hard work is done with the sniping. Time for us to. I hear the generator. I hear it. I hear that generator going. Whoa, they got a dog. Holy crap, they got dogs. So you could potentially infiltrate on the ground floor that way and maybe take that elevator up after all. Whoa, look at the dogs. Oh, they saw me. Terrorist size. Okay. That's right. I, I was shining a flashlight in their face on purpose. All right, let's take a look. Pepper spray. You there, sir. Something moved. Could be the law. Ready? Uh, uh, I'm trying to... There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Pepper spray. I didn't... I... Uh, that's right. Onk. Oh god, there's another one. Oh, there's- Whoa! Oh god. There's a lot more than I thought there would be. Ballistic armor. Prepare to pepper spray the whole group. hi Reload, quick. Pepper spray. There you go. Pepper spray! Oh, there's just so many. Okay, hold on. Um... My ballistic armor is still equipped. Um, all right, this was the worst time to. This was the worst time to ditch my. Um, really bad time to ditch my SMG, but that that's all right because it's time for my shotgun. Ooh, yeah. I'm sorry, Paul. I. Oh my god, there's just so many of them, Paul. They won't die. The f they just won't go down. How many bl how many blows must they suffer? Jesus. Oh, someone's shooting me with a crossbow. My God. All right, they've r they've run away. The remaining survivors have run away. <laughs> Holy shit! I've just massacred them all. Sadly, I got to finish the job. Where'd he run off to? Oh, I can follow the blood trail. Oh god, there's so many. Whoa, there's the generator. Hello. 30 credits. Says I get it. 30 credits. No, just wait. I'm I'm targeting. Okay. Silenced. Uh, all right. 
before we run down to the bottom, which looks to be the generator, let's head up to the top. All right, we're a little bit, a little bit chaotic here, causing a lot of damage. I'm sure Paul will understand. I can't exactly approach them and say, "Hey, mate, I don't want to actually get you. I just want to put you to sleep." Doesn't really work that way. All right, now I don't think there's anything specifically that we can do outside here. Alright, down we go. Just double checking. Um, I want to ditch this. Hopefully, we can find a. Assault rifle. Off they go. They're coming for me. Uh, so, this all looks explosive. So, I reckon there's probably. We can just either blow this up. Or we could uh, disable it. Oh god. That dude is just like can't hear anything because he's hanging out near a, uh, <laughs> a generator that's too loud. Um, I don't possess any explosives. I'm sure really stealthy ghost runs of this game are also just as satisfying, but very time consuming too. I just lack the the skill necessary to do full stealth. <laughs> Come and get me, you bastards. I'm in your computer room. Messing with your logins. Right, here they all come. I was prepared for this. Oh, you're... Ha ha ha! That's right, that was my plan all along. Kill it yourselves! That pepper spray didn't last very long. Oh my god. Pepper spray attack! Wait, you just ran right through it! You were unaffected! God damn. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. My word. I love how we get all the tranquilizer darts after they've been massacred. Oh! Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh my god. You there, you should be careful. Don't don't run into yourself like that. Crazy. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's, let's use the uh, personal computer. Welcome to the NSF. Can I log in with the email that Paul gave me last time? Smash the state. Shut down generator cooling systems. There we go. Explosion imminent. Oh shit. Um, Jojo's emails, okay. No emails there. Fuck, explosion imminent. Um, hang on. Oh, okay. Job, I didn't get blown up. The power just died at the NSF headquarters. Now it's up to Paul. Go to the roof. A chopper is arriving with Agent Herman on board. He will lock down the warehouse while you take the chopper back to HQ. Nice. Okay, so take the... Take the... Get to the chopper. That's gotta be a... It's got to be intentional, right? Herman on the chopper, he's going to say, Dead to get to the chopper. They had a secret... Uh, they had a secret mirror access. Okay. Just going to check... Before we, uh, before we exfiltrate, you know. Oh, yep. There's dogs. Probably not what you want to do. Uh, before we get to the chopper, I should probably, uh, I forgot to go to those ATM machines, didn't I? That's right. I've got credits. So it seems that this explosion was going to happen, um, whether you wanted it to or not. 
wait quiet. Come on, guys. Okay, there's cameras, just so you know. We're taking our last look around the place before we, uh... <laughs> What's going on in here? In your special gas chamber? What's going on in your special little gas chamber? I don't have my, uh, hazmat suit anymore. I'm running towards myself. Ugh. I'm getting to the roof. I'm getting out of- oh god, Oh, I've broken my foot. i just broken all my- the limbs in my body. My legs are broken. I fell off the ladder. <laughs> Help me, boss. Oh, no, God. Can I walk if I have one leg working? There we go. I got one leg working. Oh, I'm in bad shape, boss. It won't let me up this ladder. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. Herman! I'm in bad shape. There's my chopper. Nice. And Ali has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of this district. I took care of the generator. How's the raid going? They should have sent Agent Navarre. Your brother is timid like a child. Did something go wrong? You do not need to hear anything from me. Take the helicopter back to base. I am sure Mandali has planned a debriefing for the top agents. Okay. I do not need assistance. Sure. Uh, so we can take the chopper. Let's go. Back to base. I'm in bad shape. I need to get picked up. The black helicopter. Is this being flown by Jock? Last boarding call. You're not go HQ. Hey, you're the guy I talked to at the Underworld Bar, right? The one asking for beer. You don't want to fly one of these birds all wound up. They have a temperament, especially in a crosswind. <laughs> there we go. Hold on a sec. Are you drinking and flying, sir? Turns out that there's a hidden thing that if you give this guy too much alcohol, you crash, and you explode on the way back home. Let's go. Let's go. That's a cool looking helicopter. Holy smokes. <laughs> what a ride, we're back on Liberty Island. And I am worse for wear, Jock's helicopter. I'll take you back to the city after you check in with Manderley. Cool. All right, Ugh. my leg's not working anymore. Welcome back. Your mission was a success. Just about the only bright side of the operation, unfortunately. Report to Manderley for a briefing. Ooh, hello. They had us picking up the bodies you left in the statue. What a chore. <laughs> Mr. Dad. Yeah? The prisoners on level three are a sensitive matter. Leave the interrogations to Mr. Simons. You are authorized to receive your orders from Joseph Manderley. After which you will return to the helipad. Simons, you guys from DC? What agency? Please proceed to Manderley's office. We will expect to see you shortly. Whoa, the voice, dude. Do not it's question 11. the prisoners yourself. <laughs> we will be waiting. Okay, so the way that they spoke, I thought that he was like, we have to clean up the bodies for you. What a chore. I thought that that's what they sounded like. So the android voice caught me so off guard. I do not understand the reason for your delay. Wow. Interesting behavior, Mr. Dent. Ooh. I'd like to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. The feds are interrogating prisoners in the cell block. Oh, uh, that'd be the NSF leader, right? I think the suits are putting the squeeze on Manderley about this one. Mm. God, this is so cool. read that already. Don't worry about what the guys are saying about Hell's Kitchen. Don't worry about what they're saying about it. So apparently my mission was a success because I guess I was doing what I was supposed to do, but my brother seems to be a problem child here. If it wasn't for the warehouse, I'm sure you would have helped out with the firefight in front of the hotel. I did help out with the firefight in front of the hotel, actually. I was on the front line, soldier. I know for a fact from when you were at the academy that you can do more than throw gas grenades and use a prod. They're full of it. Oh, oh, because I said, hey, 
It saves lives, those grenades. If it wasn't for the warehouse, I'm sure you would have helped out with the firefight in front of the hotel. Interesting. So if I did that differently, they'd be saying different things about me? That's really intriguing. Before I see Mandalay, I need to see this med bot. I'm in bad shape, Doc. <laughs> I'm in the red. Mm. Manderley said he's busy, but to wait outside his office. Dude, the, the story of this is just so exceptional. I love this. Agent Denton authorized for entry. Manderley said he's busy, but to wait outside his office. Rubovax going hard. Oh, this is unlocked now. Nice. Just filling out a report on the mop-up operation. This was locked last time. So that's good that we can revisit here. Unatco and the press. Because Unatco will often deal with a situation that cannot easily be contained, agents may unfortunately need to interact with the press. If you are not trained for such interaction, do not, I repeat, do not speak with journalists regardless of nationality. They are skilled in misdirection and propaganda. Refuse comment. Remember, security procedures of the first line of defense. Secrets are lives. Always refer reporters at crime scenes to Unatco information officers and fact management teams. Yep, that's definitely what we did when we spoke to that guy, for sure. Hey, what the hell? Uh, sorry, man. I'm just using your computer, if you don't mind. <laughs> I, I just forgot my uh, key to my office, so I just need to use your... Okay, never mind. That mission was really fun, really extensive. A lot to do in, in the city, from um, Battery Park all the way through Hell's Kitchen, into the sewers. Uh, and then going and actually taking it on yourself and um, like to do the the main mission. But it's it's challenging. It definitely is challenging. A lot of mistakes get made for sure. But I'm having a lot of fun. It's just one of those situations where again, there's, there's so much to take in, so many different ways that you can do things. Um, J. C. Denton, Bionic Man. Um. Is it just Jay Denton, actually? Bionic Man. What's my login, dude? Um, hang on. <laughs> Where's my login here? Oh, it's JCD. JCD. <clears throat> oh, we've got new emails. So our old emails are gone, our new emails are in. Paul Denton, watch your back. I don't have much time, so I'm going to have to cut this short. They're going to tell you a lot of things about what went on today, and it's probably all going to get pinned on me. I've got my reasons, but I can't go into them right now. Not over the net. But you've got to trust me that there are reasons. Maybe I can point you in the right direction. Tap a few computers and see what you come up with. Try Mandalay's computer if you can risk it. Password is Nightkiller. You might also check Navare's, but I don't have her password. Cold woman, be careful around her. And for that matter, everyone else. Now what's good about this is we actually have all of the logins. See, something is going on. So apparently it's all gonna get pinned on Paul. He's our primary unit problem child. And Jay Reyes says congrats. Congrats on surviving your first mission, Mapocalypse. I know it's all part of the job, but I'm glad to see you back in one piece, more or less. Anyways, if you get this message before I get a chance to see you in person, then get your ass down here so I can patch you up. By the way, I hear a few things from up top, and I get the impression that they were definitely taking advantage of this NSF attack to evaluate your performance. So far, everyone seems to be ecstatic. Well, everyone except for Gunther, but he's got his own problems. Keep it up, but keep an eye out too. I get the impression sometimes that everyone here has their own agenda. Yeah, um, hi me. All right, so yeah, I keep wanting to just call him Jamie. It's just, I know it's wrong. Hi me is uh, how you're supposed to do it. Um, we got a, an upgrade in here, sure. Let's pick the lock, baby. Weapon modification for recoil. Put that bad boy on a sniper, because that shit be going crazy. 
Um, I might put that on... The thing is, if I put it on one of these, it's like I'm committing to keeping it in my inventory, you know what I mean? But sure, there is a hell of a lot of recoil on... Um, <laughs> I'm being watched. There's a hell of a lot of recoil on that gun. Righteous Angels, Perspectives on Unatco by Wendy White. Okay. Chapter 2, The New Seraphim. As the giddiness that greeted the new millennium faded to grim apathy in the face of plague, famine, and the inevitable waves of national convulsions that followed in their wake, the United Nations found itself increasingly outmoded and unable to cope with the worldwide rise in terrorism. Tensions between the affluent, walled away within private enclaves, and those less fortunate escalated rapidly as basic medical care facilities collapsed under the weight of each new outbreak. The very pervasiveness of the net fractured communities into smaller and smaller special interest groups, and as local police grew increasingly ineffectual and access to deadlier weaponry more commonplace, conflicts spilled over national borders and onto the streets of major urban cities. The United Nations were forced to admit that their own military was both outmoded and unequipped to deal with these threats, so a new organization was required, UNATCO, an army of seraphim, divinely charged to mete out impartial justice with burning wings and flaming swords. Okay. Uh, something that's good about this that I'm noticing as well is um, documents to reach are changing on my revisit, so I no longer have books on my own desk. But I, there's, there's new things now. Image, Millennium Magazine. The future of business. Bob Page, will Aquinas change the world? That's what he was talking about in the intro. Experts debate the world of unlimited bandwidth and resurgence in world terrorism. I heard about the raid. Don't sweat it. I'm sure Paul had his reasons. Hmm, okay. Long night, huh? Those jerks from Washington think they own the place. Now, I don't think I can use... Like, am I able to use the stuff here? Gunther says you guys really whack some tails in a statue. Two, eight, six, seven. Yeah, you can't access bank accounts in a different level, I don't think. So these are all new as well. So we've got different know your enemies that have come up because there are some similar headings, but different subheadings, so this is awesome. So the public bulletin thing changes every time as well. Stopping terror, a new perspective on freedom. When one maniac can wipe out a city of 20 million with a microbe developed in his basement, a new approach to law enforcement becomes necessary. Every citizen of the world must be placed under surveillance. That means sky cams at every intersection, computer-mediated analysis of every phone call, email, and snail mail, and purely electronic economy in which every transaction is recorded and data mined for suspicious activity. We live in like this full-on like spy state. And what's actually kind of crazy about this is this game came out in the year 2000. So this was, this was a year before a significant event takes place uh, in the real world in America that pushes the NSA to get so much more aggressive with spy spying and watching everything that's taking place. And this is like a year before that, just talking about it being like that sort of governmental oversight. So everyone's under surveillance. Sky cams, computer mediated analysis of every phone call, email and snail mail. Like it's all very weird and realistic. We are close to achieving this goal. Someone say that human liberty has been compromised, but the reality is just the opposite. As surveillance expands, people become free from danger, free to walk alone at night, free to work in a safe place, and free to buy any legal product or service without the threat of fraud. One day, every man and woman will quietly earn credits, purchase items for quiet homes on quiet streaks, have cookouts with neighbors and strangers alike, and sleep with doors and windows wide open. If that isn't the tranquil dream of every free civilization throughout history, what is? And that perspective, that dreamy little vision, good in theory, but then these people that are in power that are establishing the rules, they keep inching it further and further and further to see what they can get away with, how much so they can watch you, how much you're not allowed to get, a, like, get away with, what you used to be able to get away with that you can't anymore. Things that were legal now are not legal, just based on the decision making of those in power. So it's very interesting to be like, yeah, sure, this, this sounds great if it was actually able to work without corruption up on high. 
Terrorism, war without fronts. How do we fight an underground threat, one with no defined territory base or often known leader? We look to military history. The casebook of example of how to manage civil unrest is the Hamlet Evaluation System, HES, developed by the United States military during its occupation of South Vietnam in the 20th century. Since population centers in that country contained both communist rebels and loyal citizens, Agent Navarro was gunning her motors about Castle Clinton. I guess she cleaned the place out. Yes. Um, sorry. Something that's just annoying me while I'm reading. I spill my drink! Yes, I'm just gonna turn this down, because the vending machine is going crazy. Says you guys really whack some tails in a statue. That vending machine's just get, like too loud in my ear. It's just like this buzzing. And I can still hear it. <laughs> um, so I might just have to deal with it. Okay, so since po population centers in that country contained both communist rebels and loyal citizens, the towns were ranked on a scale from one to five, five being the safest. The monthly reports of local commanders, useful in Vietnam for maintaining contour maps of ideology concentration, have provided many components of the UNATCO sector field report. The modern UDU, UNATCO deployed unit, has been modeled on the CAP combined action platoon deployed in Vietnam, a 15-man rifle squad responsible for a single hamlet. CAP protected villages typically earned a 2.95 HET score compared to a 1.6 average in the same region. CAP units performed in many mission roles, but they primarily worked with indigenous police to strengthen ideological ties. Like CAP units, UNACO teams are primarily concerned with building safe communities. Okay. I'm just going to turn down the volume in the game itself. I'll make it real quiet for a second while I read. Know your enemy, Templars. There is some debate as to whether the Templars should be considered a terrorist organization because they do not employ the typical tools of terrorism. But make no mistake, the Templars are just as dangerous as any other group that might use guns to bo uh, to, and bombs to intimidate the free citizens of a country. Only the Templars wield blackmail and extortion as their weapons. Supposedly, the direct descendant of a so-called secret society with its roots in the medieval crusades, the present-day Templars are mainly concerned with increasing their own bank accounts and elaborately illegal financial manipulations that have left entire markets collapsed in their wake. The Templars are currently classified as inactive after being successfully diminished by a combined UNATCO slash Interpol raid on their Paris headquarters in 2051. However, several key Templar figures are still at large and may attempt to reform the organization under a new designation. And know your enemy X-51. Little is known about X-51 aside from their involvement in all manner of illegal research, much of it prescribed by worldwide concords over the last 50 years. Computer profiling shows a high likelihood that X-51 was responsible for the SoCal disaster that submerged much of Southern California, though the exact nature of the experiment that led to the tragedy is still unknown. Little other information is available on the overall objective of X-51, if any exists. X-51 is believed to be led by Gary Savage, a scientist previously employed by the United States government for a variety of black projects until he disappeared under mysterious circumstances several years ago. All agents are advised to be vigilant for any indications as to the whereabouts of Savage or other members of X-51 and report them immediately to their operator or immediate superior. So I wonder if the X-51 and the Area 51 mentions um, have any crossover. It's very interesting. Right, um, I spill my drink. I love that it has to do that every time. Oh, I didn't lower my sound effects volume at all. I lowered the effects channels. I just saw effects and my brain went, turn that shit down. Oops. No wonder I could still hear the vending machine. Silly me. All right. We can lockpick all these doors with uh, with one lockpick as well. Um, Anna's in here. Paul's in there. We'll save. Um, because looking at this, what do we got? Report to Mandalay. I'm going to go check in with the dock. Because I'm busted up bad. We'll check in with our downstairs crew. Welcome aboard, Agent. I'm Shannon. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Shannon. And my game just crashed. God damn it, Shannon. Shannon just crashed my game. <laughs> ah, I saw a woman. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? All right, heading on down to the dock. 
Alright, don't introduce yourself to Shannon, the game will crash. Washington think they own the place. Alright, medical. Hi me. Yeah. I'm healed, baby. Medical Management of Biological Casualties Handbook. It's like looking at stuff that I'm like, did I read that already or not? Did the, all the books change or only some of them? Who knows? <laughs> I took a few hits tonight. The doc had to operate. We'll get well soon, soldier. Yes, sir. I will. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. Damn. Looks pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse, too. It must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Check the storage closet. It's a living. Thanks for talking to my friend. He admires you. Oh. I knew what I was getting into when I joined up. Uh, check the storage cabinet. Where that at? Ah, uh, yeah, we definitely read that. This, one, this place? You mean the, th the, the thing that's locked, Jaime? Is that what you're asking me to look into? The storage cabinet would be the locked door, I guess. So am I, am I lock picking it? I'm lock picking it, I guess. Just give me a key to this place. Oh, actually, maybe I do have the key to this place on my key ring. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Um, hold on. I only have Unatco closet key. I don't think I actually have uh, keys to just places around here. I mean, I can always try, but there you go. I mean, he told me I could access it. Also, hang on. What happened to my left arm? Why is my left arm busted? Can I just get healed by this thing? Did I miss something that like just did a bunch of damage to my left arm? Attacking that box blew your arm up, apparently. Um, what's Jaime's login? Hack it into everyone's stuff. Um, Amigo. Med Org question. Reyes is asking about something. While repairing one of our mech augmented agents, I located a mechanism within the auto aut autonomic regulation system that was not present in any of the documentation I had available. I'm concerned that failure of this mechanism could lead to a complete autonomic shutdown of the agent's vital systems with the obvious consequences that would entail. I've attached additional CRI scans of the structure and surrounding information concerning the mechanism to which you refer is available only to those with clearance of thrones 6G or higher. Further discussion of this matter with all other unauthorized personnel will result in disciplinary action. All subsequent questions should be directed to Director Mandalay. Hmm. While repairing one of our mech augmented agents, so he might have been talking about working on Gunther, and Throne 6G was clearance at a level that was in that MJ12 place. This is why it's good to use your other logins, because you get to get their story and their conversations that are happening. And then we've got that restricted area too. Very curious. Alright, let's head back. We'll speak to Alex. See what he's got to say about things. Yeah, Domination 5F clearance was the other one, which was Project Dibook, which we already read. Does this storage container get restocked? Oh, he's not here. Okay. 
Alex is not here today. Piece of gossip, Anna Navarro. Oh, what are you saying? Oh. Uh, They've got some kind of specialist from Washington. I, I, I didn't realize he was going to say something spicy. Piece of gossip. Gunther says you guys really whack some Damn tails it. in the statue. Okay. Missed that, sadly. Hey, man. What's going on? Agent Denton. Marvelous. In addition to an accuracy weapon modification, I've got some 7.62 millimeter rounds and a couple of multi-tools. Mr. Carter, I can't tell you how great it is to be a part of UNATCO. You should have seen the fighting in Castle Clinton. Yeah? I clean the place out. Went in shooting, huh? I guess that's what this agency is known for. I never thought I'd see this much action in one mission. In my day, international peacekeepers were citizens first and soldiers second. You can forget about that extra ammo. I'm only going to give you the multi-tools. I think you should concentrate more on mission objectives and less on the enemy body count. Whoa, this is very good. This is awesome. So like, God, this the way that the, the characters talking with each other feels so natural here, where my character is a bloodthirsty asshole now, apparently, because uh, I may have killed a couple of people, maybe. You know, there's no proof of that. Um, and because I go in going, hey man, you should have seen it. This place is great. He's like, okay, you're a bit of a trigger happy dude. I just think that that flow of conversation and seeing actual consequences uh, in very natural places, instead of it being like consequences only showing up at big story moments or where it's like, you did this, so this will happen at the end of the game. It's like, Stuff that happens in just interactions with the people that you interact with. You're having a conversation and you're saying something that you did and they then change something that they give you or how they talk to you, how they perceive you. That is incredible. That's really amazing. Um, we did get given an accuracy modification. The problem is my um, assault rifle is obviously in the rifle thing, and we are untrained <laughs> in that one. Um, so it's, while we've been using this to do our best, obviously it's, pr we are more trained in our, in our pistol stuff. So I might do accuracy for my stealth pistol. And that's the thing, like I am trying to do stealth, but at the same time, I've also acknowledged Definitely struggling with the going everywhere in stealth in, in this game. You've got your equipment. Now move out. Thanks, bruh. He gave me some multi-tools. Just have to. I just have to keep trying with with stealth and see if I can improve my my skill level, and maybe reduce our bloodshed. Um, Paul's not going to be happy with us, <laughs> um, so we can use Anna's computer here. And this is the this is where all the hostages are. Manderly says only senior staff members can interview the prisoners. Mm, okay. They won't talk. We've tried everything. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. I'm just going to look at them. Okay, so it's just normal NSF guys. It's not the actual leader. I won't say anything, but I think you should go. I think the overall sort of atmosphere of this game as well is very stressful in a sense of you feel that you're always being watched. You feel that the characters and NPCs are watching you at all times as well. Like you're going, hey, what are you doing? And they're like, I don't think you should be here. Like everything feels so alive in that sense. They don't feel like these programmed computer entities. Like it's, it is really smart computer programming in the game to have you feel that way. Where it's like all the characters are talking to you very naturally. The conversations flow very naturally. You feel like you're being watched in every capacity and every action that you do. And you feel like you're towing a fine line between needing to do what your job is under UNATCO, but you also know that there's an element to it that's inherently wrong. Um, 
and that's only becoming more and more clear with your brother, with uh, the way characters are talking about your brother, they had all of it. The bodies you left in the statue. So crazy. Alright, um, we're healed up, we've spoken to the people downstairs. Now, we're gonna log in on our computer with the other characters' informations. Uh, and we do have Mandalay's login with Night Killer. Um, well, interestingly enough, we don't actually have that saved here. Um, so Joe Mandalay um, and it's Night Killer. So let's check um, A Navare first. Did I get that wrong? Or can I not log into a computer from my uh, from my terminal? Okay. Um, let's try J Mandalay, and let's also spell that right. <laughs> um, all right, J Mandalay. Okay, this might be because it's from my my terminal. Oh, hang on, it's night underscore killer. Wait, not night dash killer. I'm very I'm very good at typing, as you as you can um, <laughs> clearly see. Uh, very good at typing. In that case, I'm going to go back down to Anna's computer, and we'll log on here. There you go. So I can get into her computer. I was doing it right. I can get into her um, computer properly, but I couldn't log in from my terminal. Okay. Denton, but it's Denoton. I am not sure what I think of our Agent Denton. He is not like the brother, but seems too eager to prove that he may be better than us. I wonder if he understands what may be at stake here. Hmm, okay. So he's not like the brother. But apparently we're trying to be eager. J. Mandalay Mission Objectives. Of primary importance in the upcoming operation is recovering all of the stolen ambrosia. If any falls into terrorist hands, it could be a potential tool for blackmail that would pose a serious security risk. However... Our best intelligence indicates that Juan Lebedev, a known terrorist leader, is behind this galling attack. While the loss of the Ambrosia is a regrettable but salvageable incident, Lebedev poses a continuing threat to Yanatko. He is also a dangerous man, and if the operation should result in his termination rather than capture, there is no doubt that the agent responsible would have been found to have acted appropriately and with the full force of the law. Okay. There you go. Now, I wonder if Alex's terminal has permission to get into Mandalay's stuff. No. I was here first. Mr. Mandalay is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing? Do not worry. I will state in my report that I was satisfied with your performance. Okay. She was satisfied even though we didn't help her out with the Ambrosia mission, apparently? Be quiet. I am trying to listen. Ha. Huh. She's listening in. Fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother. And more are on the way. Oh, that's not Paul. Nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. <laughs> I thought that was Paul from the back, but that's the other dude from the intro with Bob that was like, your appointment with FEMA, blah, blah. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost. I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. Oh. So Anna was listening to that as well. So this dude is with the feds. 
and he's talking about Paul and he and Mandalay's been given an order so apparently Paul might know something that's why things in Hong Kong went bad and it lost the shipment hmm carry on agent government official agent Denton at your service Denton Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the Coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. No, it's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. Damn, okay. In goes Anna. gonna talk I'm wondering if I can hear what they're gonna have to say it still says that we have to report to Mandalay Mr. Mandalay can see you now oh, okay Mr. Mandalay can see you now you got this Anna you got this I believe in you she's malfunctioning her cyberware is going crazy hello JC come in Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Clinton and Warehouse objectives, 500 each. You get the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who is that you were meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. I would have taken out that JoJo punk but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The Coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the strike force says he lost his nerve. I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that shipment. Has it been located? Take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways, the abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. And stay away from the press this time, especially the tabloids. Do I need to quote the manual? Secrets are lives. Yes, sir. I have yeah. been waiting for 20 minutes. Sorry, Anna. What is it? A new assignment. I think Agent Denton should handle the assassination. Is there a problem? You lost your appetite? His enthusiasm in Battery Park was exceptional. The courtyard to Castle Clinton was a graveyard. Hmm. It's kind of an exercise, you mean? I think he will make a good assassin. We should give him the opportunity. Hmm. Our pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. I am anxious to see one of the experimental agents perform. You aren't alone, Anna. What's kind of wild about this is like, this feels like I did a low chaos playthrough when I went through Dishonored. And now this feels like we're playing a game that has a similar sort of approach of whether you want to go through lethal or non-lethal. So while I definitely am going, oh, I'm the bad guy. I'm really intrigued by this storyline and it feels really great having a disconnect with my brother here where he is in one particular state of mind and I'm in another, and either my character is going to be met with an event that will push me further to Paul or maybe push me further away from him. Uh, and it makes for a really compelling story. Send him my way. He didn't report back. All right. Uh, Mandalay's office key. Haha. -ha. You're not killing the police. I believe we read that. Don't forget to check in with Carter and Reyes. I will, but I do also have to um, read your computer. Is that okay? The Art of War by Sun Tzu. You okay, sure. 
Uh, Sun Tzu said in The Practical Art of War, the best thing of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact. To shatter and destroy it is not so good. So too, it is better to recapture an army entire than to destroy it, to capture a regiment, a detachment, or a company entire than to destroy them. Hence, to fight and conquer in all your battles is not supreme excellence. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance on. without fighting. Okay. Yeah, I'll carry on, mate, after I hack into your computer from here and you won't even see it happen. There you go. He doesn't even know that I'm here. He doesn't know. All right, Jay Manderley, Night Killer. We're in, baby. Okay. Anna Navarra, report. As ordered, I have maintained a close watch of Agent Denton during our operation in New York. I have found his performance to be adequate to the task, if not without certain occasional reluctance, but it is my opinion that nano augmentations in no way compensate for experience, and Agent Denton quite obviously has a considerable amount of learning to do before he can be considered a fully qualified agent. Agent Herman concurs with this evaluation. I will file a more detailed report when time allows. Remember when she said that she was going to say great things? Just adequate, apparently. WS, arrival. I will be arriving at Liberty later today to survey the situation and assess the vi viability of the primary subject. Unless there are extenuating circumstances that you so far failed to pre present to us, it is our belief that the primary may need to be terminated in favor of the secondary. Continue to profile the secondary's response to authority and mission objectives. If there is any deviation, isolate the subject for debriefing upon my arrival. So WS is that guy that we haven't been introduced to yet. There you go. So the viability of the primary subject, so terminated. So we're letting him go. So we need to send him back if we find him, apparently, so he can be terminated. And we are the secondary. If there is any deviation, isolate the subject for debriefing. We did get isolated for debriefing. Well, actually, we didn't get isolated. We were still with Anna, but... Hmm. I said carry on. Hmm. You have your orders for Mr. Manderley. Get moving. Okay. What are those orders? Locate the airfield where the NSF has moved the Ambrosia. Investigate the subway system because the terrorists may be hiding underground. God damn. Gotcha. Well, that's our next mission. Uh, things are... Things are heating up. We should potentially go downstairs and see if this dude is interrogating the agents, right? Just to take a, a bit of a peek, if that's possible. We're learning a lot of information by spying. Manderley will chew us out if he finds out you were here. I have one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret, because he has value. What you know more than others makes money, and gives you a measure of power. You Walton Simons, you think I could be bribed? Margaret Forsyth, under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard, attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. Dude! Where is the NSF taking the Ambrosia? They asked me already. I don't know. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. Go to hell. The fact that... The United States government has had emergency powers since World War II. We've never left a state of war. Speak for yourself. The federal government is just responding to a threat. A government should be about more than self-perpetuation. You will confess, by the way. I don't like to dirty my hands with that sort of thing, but you will confess. Certain intellectual properties, aside from the quantities of vaccine, concern me deeply. 
Has the NSF made any attempt at reverse engineering? Leave me alone. Okay, we might be... If you wanted to save no. people, you could have unloaded the whole shipment in Manhattan. Why the airlift? You said it yourself. Secrets are power. We're getting some good dialogue here. It was absolutely terrifying that this dude was like, Hey, get away from here. Like, he's just got eyes in the back of his head. We have less civilized ways of making you talk. I just wonder how much dialogue is going to be here before it stops, because this is actually surprising. I am a patient man. Ask me if I care. <laughs> but not that patient. Oh, he killed him. He killed them both. Damn. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Shit. You saw nothing, didn't? Report to the helipad. Ooh. Again, this ties in with the fact that not only were we seen spying by this dude, but then he saw us, saw him kill him. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh no, I saw something that I'm not supposed to. That's going to negatively impact my record. Um, so... Walton Simons, WS, on the computer. So he's, that's his name. What kind of, that's why he didn't want to be introduced, because he didn't want to tell me his name was Walton. Why are you still here? Uh, nothing. Uh, that guy didn't kill anyone. No, sir, they killed themselves in the cell. Jesus, okay. So... There you go, we got some interesting uh, scenes there. Back at Yonako HQ, and we've got a job to do. We're going to get back on the jumper with Junk, and he'll take us back to the city. This one turns out a little better. To pick up our brother's mess, apparently. I'm so damn excited to see how this story is going to go, because it's very, very compelling. Um, playing the bad guys, watching your brother moving into being on the other side and we're under very close surveillance that we do as we are told so very curious to see how this is going to play out in our next mission thank you so much for joining me for this episode of deus ex i hope that you enjoyed it i am loving this game uh chaotic nature aside it's super enjoyable especially for a first time playthrough just soaking it all in having a great time i'll see you next time when we go back to the city